What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dave B. You watching Dave B on TV where we go beyond the A-Day bullshit that people be consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. And today we talking about, well, I, I, I kind of ain't got that much time, so I'm probably not going to get into the moon, the whole moon video, moon and Virgo video. But, you know, I'm, I am going to kind of talk about it a little bit in context just because, like, more so I think within the, the frame of just, like, an energy read, like, right now, um, the moon shifting into Virgo, like I was kind of saying in that other video, yeah, uh, that I just dropped, the Saturn Direct video, um, moon and Virgo, sun and Scorpio, this is an opportunity that we all need to take to clean up things, uh, in our, pertaining to our deep passions, clean up things pertaining to your behind closed doors, clean up these things like you know virgo is about cleanliness virgo is about the details so this is seeing the details of our deep desires but see here's the thing you have to be in a position to be able to to discern these things and determine whether or not discern whether or not these are things that you want to be seen for known for um because in a lot of ways you know we still got pluto uh making its way into uh capricorn and so this energy is like, in a lot of ways, giving you a precursor to kind of what Capricorn season could look like. Because even as we hit Capricorn season, you know, we're going to start experiencing um, Pluto going into Aquarius. And we already know with Pluto, it has been forcing us to transform how we conduct our status and how we are known. You know what I'm saying? Who, who we're known. For, uh, yeah. What we're known for. But everything's kind of been through the context. Like when you look at a lot of these inner planets and what we've been experiencing on like a more day-to-day uh, -day level, because you know them generational planets, those outer planets, the, those things are so, those things are like eras. Those things are like, you know, these are large periods of time that, that represent like, you know, generations and the difference between certain generations and what they were focused on, right? So generate the outer planets are good for you to understand your life in the way you want to apply yourself long term but the intertwined planets the intermediate planets that's what i meant to say are the ones that we need to be utilizing in order to get um in order to achieve our long-term goals you know what i'm saying so when you're looking at like the inner planets what, what has everything been doing this whole year has been about character development and it's under the um numerology of the 7th 2023 this year energetically has been about separation between you know things that keep you from that higher version of yourself that's always been you but again your true natures are always going to show and are always going to show so you're either a spirit who's doing things from a higher angle or a spirit who's doing things from a lower angle and it's nothing you know again it's not about a, a hero versus villain story where you now have to feel like you're righteous and have to do everything upright or vice versa you don't have to feel like oh i'm the villain so now i gotta be despicable in all ways or other people see me as the villain so i might as well that's just egotistical bullshit that humans get into based upon them um being too attached to their to their thoughts and feelings you know what i'm saying and start trying to identify as those things because as a spirit it takes a lot of responsibility and accountability to assume responsibility for whatever you produce as far as thoughts and feelings go that lead to actions and decisions you make. So a lot of spirits down here in, in these bodies don't want to assume those responsibilities yet. So they play out as childish spirits. They don't want to assume that responsibility. They don't want to take accountability. So their life becomes victimhood. They start to point at everything outside of them as a reason why they're not where they want to be or why they do the things they do that's not, you know what I'm saying? All these different kinds of things. Now, going back to what I was saying about the moon in Virgo, it's the opportunity between the moon reacting and responding to the details of what? Of what we're looking at. The deep, dark and uh, passions, our, our ulterior motives, others' ulterior motives, and things of that nature. So, you know, this is a time for, you know, again, there's two ways always you can play the energy. You can spend all your time trying to see things externally, or you, you, you got you can acknowledge the internal first. Like, well, you go and do both, but a lot of times people skip the internal work and the first thing they cling to is they watch these astro astrology videos to to figure out other people and, and get in other people's minds when that's not the way we're supposed to even be using this shit this is a tool to understand you first and once you understand you and you get
get through those barriers now you have a clairvoyant point of view that doesn't that isn't wrapped up in personal biases it's not wrapped up in and again things that fog our vision things that create delusions within our own world because we start thinking we can think for others and it's like you have to think for yourself and others in in terms of but it's not in terms of knowing what others think and judging from that but it's like it's not to judge others you know what i'm saying you can understand another person but you know still leave room for them to be themselves because you're they're always again just like you have thoughts that nobody knows other people have thoughts that nobody knows you know what i'm saying everything is you know expressed and we can see it over time but you know and in, initially you have to give a spirit that space to to be who they are on their own time and um you know that's where trust comes in because you got to like you know that that's a whole different conversation though but for the most part you know when we're dealing with this virgo energy it's an opportunity that we all need to take to clean things up when it comes to our deep passions and just make sure these are the things that we are standing on make sure these are the things that we want to construct for ourselves because again and that, that goes to even with the opposition with saturn because it's going to start to have to make sense you know everything again when you look at virgo energy it's very tricky because see these are routines and patterns and and you know when it comes to routines and patterns like whatever you consist of as a routine you know that that ends up being what we can see as a result you know what i'm saying that you produce for yourself and so you got to consider it like that if this is not the kind of result i want to produce for myself i need to switch up my routines simple as that you know what i'm saying so you know but it's going to be tricky because see this is a sextile energy so you might think that you are getting over you might start to feel as though you got some kind of power over others you might take this energy and go the complete wrong direction of manipulation and trying to construct different thought forms and feelings that you can con continue to abuse in order to get your way in situations and that's going to come back to bite you in due time because when we hit the new moon right the new moon in Scorpio um, is going to force us to, because uh, we're going to have that second new moon in Scorpio, that's going to force us to, uh, it, it's kind of like, you're going to need to have refined your deep passions and things of that nature. You're going to, the things behind closed doors, all those things that, you know what I'm saying, that, that you need to take power and control over, those things are going to be on the surface it's going to be a new moon in that scorpio energy which again can lead you down to sparking something negative like because again even with the new moon right we look at it and with the new moon energies it's like if it's going to be in uh scorpio it's going to feel almost like a full moon it's going to feel almost like you know everything being um exposed or everything being put on on, on full blast energies are going to be high and you know that's kind of different for a new moon usually new moons there's a concentration of energy but it's more so everybody trying to put themselves in the position to start the energy with the with the full moon with the new moon in um, a sign where it falls scorpio is going to have to figure out a way to kind of overcome its natural disposition to where the moon is at it's going to have to figure out a way that it can overcome some of those difficulties that interact with it you know what i'm saying so when you look at you know these energies what i mean and, and to get even clearer with that like what i mean is you know it's going to be a new moon in scorpio so there needs to be new desires that you have right but if you're still clinging on to the same old desires and you haven't used any transmutation in these last few uh in the in since this last new moon uh if you haven't used any transmutation it's like you're not going to have any more you're not going to have the wisdom to know the new direction to take these deep passions because again this whole year has been about character development so right now we're developing we're we're developing those aspects of ourselves that nobody can see but us and god and these these different things again play out as auras play out as things that seep out into your actual life in ways that you you might not even be privy to on the surface but it's not until you start to examine all the little things that subconsciously led to these things in the external world that you're forced to face whether it be uh you know different difficulties in your life blockages frustrations things of that nature that seem to get in the way of your passions when you're looking at these things now you could be like oh like see this is supposed to be the energy that you clean that part of yourself up or you at least begin the process because we're really going to see a purification during the new moon but this is the first step to it it's almost like if you're thinking about say you're cleaning something that's real dirty you might have to spray it with a cover coat and scrub off 
a little of the surface and then wait a couple minutes and hit it with some more of the, of the spray in order to get some of the beginning grime off that way and it's like over time you can get the scrubbing get the scrubbing and then before you know it you can clean it it's not going to be something you can clean with just one stroke so somebody somebody might again you might plant seed bad seeds during this time right forget to look at the details of what you deeply passionate about forget to look at the details of the things you choose to keep behind closed doors right choose to to neglect these things right choose to still be in la la land about it still dream about it let your feelings and emotions take you wherever they want to take you what's gonna happen is when the when the new moon comes you're gonna have to do extra work in order to get that grime off versus a person who started doing the work now to clean that stuff up now they can actually utilize the energy of the new moon for what they want to do and not just be um not not be um and, um slowed down by things that they could have did earlier that make their life easier in the present they still might be on the track to plant an okay seed but you know again everything in life is like we gotta want to improve ourselves we gotta want to we gotta want more for ourselves you know what i'm saying so that's what it comes down to it's like you gotta want more for yourself and you gotta actually strive for um you know strive for better but not everybody see it that way not everybody want to do that so you know i mean to each their own but you know that's the thing we gotta you, you should want to at least at least strive for better you know what i'm saying like i mean but to each their own like i'm not here to you know hey you living your life is on you you know what i'm saying so I, i'm not even here to put you on a type of path to tell you hey you always got to work hard and some people got a different struggle in life they might not have to work hard but they got to think hard some people might not have to think hard but they got to feel hard so you know what i'm saying it's, it's all different types of lot area walks of life that we might be in the middle of so you got to just see how these things relate to you i try to keep things broad enough for you to be able to relate it to something you might be going through but just don't get that confused like it's 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 for you to take it and make your own interpretation still you know what i'm saying i'm just i'm just facilitating what we already know type shit i'm just facilitating information that you know again is in the intention of helping and, and to contribute it towards the change of the world by changing the mind um, and changing how we see things so that we can, you know, develop a better way, you know, to, for ourselves, you know what I'm saying, as individuals. And then, you know, the people who are like-minded will become a community. And that community will stand the test of time to, to change the world in ways that we never thought, like, no one thought possible. It was all possibilities type shit. But, um, you know, when we, we, yeah, so use this energy now and then see what's going to happen too. The moon is going to slide into Libra. So that's going to be about justice and balance and things of that nature. So think about it like this. You clean things up now, you have a better chance of creating balance before we get into the, and, and see, it's almost like judgment day a little bit. The new moon is going to feel like judgment day. Those of you who start to spark the new moon with the wrong deep intentions the wrong ulterior motives the wrong deep passions y'all and and I'm, i specifically mean people who are doing it based upon you know demonic reasons aka they're trying to get something on an individual and feeling like you lack so you're trying to overcompensate certain energy you know again this is the season that people start to think and get ideas of oh who should i rob oh what what should i steal oh what should i lie about oh what should i and see you might have got a, got a little buzz going through scorpio season you know what i'm saying scorpio season so of course you got a little buzz off that shit maybe but you need to understand like okay well let me you know what i'm saying let me let's time to transform because we're we're about to enter the phoenix i think we're in the second deacon of yeah we're in like the second deacon of scorpio so that needs to look like um the next water sign which is pisces we need to be a little more um you know a little more a little more mutable about what it is that we are it's like we have to understand our imaginations at this time it's like this is the time where we can get delusional about what it is that we're after we can get delusional so it's kind of like you gotta peep game on that and you gotta remain you know what i'm saying you gotta allow yourself to um have some faith in what you originally planned because here's what's gonna happen the mutability of this this deacon of scorpio well, it's like you already have your set intention, but instead of using the mutable energy as a, um, you know, because in Deacons, it's kind of like a, a little like accent to the energy. So instead of using that little boost and accent to be mutable in the different ways and coming up with creative ways to attack that same goal that Scorpio 
was trying to uphold. Instead, you might allow the mutability in the Pisces deacon to convince you out of what you initially started and what you was trying to do initially. So you disintegrate everything that Scorpio was trying to get fixated on and it results in a very confusing outcome because it's almost like you switched up before you could see what you started benefits you. And it's like, you kind of just, it, it could be lazy energy or it could just be you doubting yourself. You know what I'm saying? You really doubting yourself. And so you created imaginations that went in a, in a negative direction or opposite direction there, what could have actually been beneficial for you. So you don't want to put yourself in that kind of position. You want to make sure you're always forthright and you, or you're, you want to make sure you're putting your best foot forward when it comes to those. Or I'll say this, you want to make sure that you're staying consistent. Like, like uh, this is very much anchoring energy we need to be anchored even though we in the pisces deacon of scorpio that passion needs to be anchored you know but we can use pisces to now give us an array of different imaginations that we can use to apply to those things also use to help encourage us through this time because things ain't easy but that's where our mind and our emotional intelligence comes in like whenever we're going through a water transit it's all about using what you feel to your advantage even if it's negative fine and, and the best part about um Scorpio is that it's about transmutation. So you're going to go through darkness, but it's about how you can transmute it. Cancer is even cool because it's the initiation of a new feeling, regardless of whatever you feel outside of you. But that that takes a lot of courage as well. And then but one of the hardest seasons, I mean, can potentially be Pisces if you are on a train of thought that are uh, you in a feeling that you know is allowing is is causing you um self-harm it's causing you mental illness aka is something that is making you uh doubt yourself and things of that nature again delusions it's, that's the main thing about pisces season that's what makes it tricky it's not an initiator of water it's not a transmuter of water it's a uh a consumption of water or an absorption of water in ways so a connection to water so it's, it's a lot different in, in pisces season than it is the other two water signs and you know, on a different tip but you know nonetheless you know it's all it's all things that we can do you know the fact that we do know what's going on is is enough to to at least put us in the right um put us in the right direction so you know what i'm saying that's just what we need to keep on our minds and 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 you know yeah but anyway i got a deal much love i'll catch you on the next one peace